Okay, here we have a 2008 Infinity QX series with three trouble codes, a P0300 random cylinder misfire detected, a P2800 airfield ratio bank one, and a P0462 fuel level sensor, sensor circuit signal low slash short. Okay, so let's start by checking the integrity of the circuit. Right now I have the air free ratio sensor connector and we're checking on the harness side and we have four terminals at the connector we're going to be checking for specific voltage references based on service information so the way we're going to set our a meter we're going to turn our meter and we're going to set it to dc volts and always make sure that your meter is working and that you have a good ground so i'm checking at the battery negative so if we go to the battery positive our meter should measure battery voltage so that's the voltage from our battery so that means we do have a good ground on our meter and now we're going to be looking for specific voltage values now <clears throat> when we look at the every ratio sensor the connector views it's from the harness side and we're going to go to terminal number one and that is the air free ratio sensor reference voltage which we should measure approximately 2.2 volts so that's our signal from uh, the ECM that's a reference voltage so that means we don't have a wire open from the ECM to the sensor at the reference wire. The signal should be uh, terminal number two, air free ratio sensor signal. We should be able to get approximately 1.8 volts. And that's what we have, 1.8. That is, uh, so that also tells you that we don't have an open wire from the ECM to the sensor. Then uh, terminal number three should be the, uh, the air free ratio sensor heater, ignition voltage. So we should be able to see battery voltage and that is 12.7 that's our battery voltage so we don't have an issue on the heater circuit and then the terminal number four is the control side for the heater and that's where we measure zero volts and when we start a car the computer controls the heater on the negative side to heat up the air free ratio sensor so the sensor could start to uh, work to start to operate because some of these sensors will require a temperature range from around 600 degrees to 1200 degrees. So that will vary based on your make and model. That's why we have the heater. By checking the integrity of this wire, we, we already know that we don't have wires that are open from the ECM or the ignition voltage to the sensor. Now let's check the signal. We're gonna hook up an, an oscilloscope and we're going to compare sensor one, bank one, and bank two, air free ratio sensors. And we're going to look at the difference between them as the engine runs and as we create a lean or rich mixture to see if they actually respond on the signal wire. Okay, so let's start by checking the air free ratio sensor reference voltage by the PCM. And what you're looking for according to service uh, information, is 2.2 volts on this vehicle. When we cycle the ignition, you should be able to see 2.2 volts. When we start the car, the voltage should remain constant. When the engine is running, if we raise the RPMs or snap the throttle, it should be constant. When we create a rich mixture or a, or a lean mixture, the voltage should be constant because that's our reference voltage from PCM. So let's verify this. This is key on engine off, and both sensors are displaying 2.2 volts on each. The yellow channel, it's bank two, where we have the code register, and the green channel is bank one. So you, you would know which sensor we're looking at, and you can see the difference between them. So let's start a car, and let's see what the voltage reference does.
that spike don't don't pay too much attention to it that could be uh, like electrical noise but you can see the 2.2 volts it's constant I'm gonna raise the RPMs then I'm gonna snap the throttle Alright, so during 2000 RPMs, voltage remained the same. During the snap, voltage remained the same because this should stay constant. Now we're going to create a vacuum leak. What I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect the vacuum hose that goes to the brake booster and create a vacuum leak. Voltage remain at 2.2 in each one. Oh, let me go back. 2.2. Now I'm going to create a rich mixture. The way I will create a rich mixture, I'm going to spray starting fluid at the vacuum hose that goes to the brake booster and see if there's a change. I'm going to turn off the car. So then the computer goes to sleep and you no longer have the reference voltage. Now let's check the signal wire. Now we are currently back probed at both air free ratio sensor signal wires. Green channel is bank one, yellow channel is bank two. When we sack with the ignition, we should be able to get approximately 1.8 volt reference voltage from the ECM. And then when we start a car, the reference voltage will vary based on air free mixture. If the mixture goes lean or rich, we, we are going to see a change. So let me go ahead and start the car. First, that's our reference voltage, 1.8 volts on each sensor. So let's start the car. Now this is where the voltage will vary. If the mixture gets lean or rich, we're gonna see a change on both. As you can see, both of them are at 1.8 volts each. 1.8 constant, 1.8 constant on both. Uh, bank one and bank two. We're gonna raise the RPMs and see if there's a change. And then we're gonna snap the throttle. Not much of a change on both of them. 
But now let's see if they actually respond to a rich or lean mixture. Because right now the, the mixture could be a stoichiometric, uh, could have good fuel control right now. But let's change that mixture. We're going to create a vacuum leak by disconnecting the vacuum hose that goes to the brake booster. And what we're looking for, if the system goes lean, the voltage should drop below 1.8. So you should drop to approximately maybe 1.7. You might see a, a millivolt or two millivolt change. The lower the voltage, the leaner the mixture will be. So that's what we're looking for. When we create that link condition, we want to see both sensors uh, dropping the voltage to approximately 1.7 or so. So what we saw on that lean mixture, bank one dropped to around 1.74 and bank two remained at 1.8. There was no change from bank two for a lean mixture. Now let's see if they respond to a rich mixture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray starting fluid at the vacuum hose that goes to the brake booster to create a rich mixture. Now the voltage should go above 1.8, should go approximately 1.9 if the sensor is responding correctly. So during that rich mixture, bank one responded and the voltage went to 1.9, but bank two remained at 1.8. So bank two does not respond to a rich mixture. It probably went above slightly, but there was a very small change. So we definitely have a problem with bank two, which is the yellow channel. And that's where the triple code stated that we had a malfunction on Air free ratio sensor bank two. Now we cycle the ignition off and then the computer goes to sleep and no longer sends that reference voltage. As we saw, bank one air free ratio sensor does respond to a rich or lean mixture, but bank two, there was no response at all. So we definitely have to replace bank two and check the system afterwards. Here's our new sensor. It was a challenge getting the sensor out. The threads are really bad. We were able to fix the threads with a thread chaser. We're gonna install it, the new sensor, and test it afterwards and see how it works. Okay, so here we have both air fuel ratio sensors uh, back row. Uh, the new sensor has been installed already. Both are reading at 1.8. Now let's create a lean condition and see if bank two responds. So as you saw, both went to 1.7. Both responded at the same time. Now let's create a rich mixture and see if it goes to the rich side. Now, bank two responds a lot better. 
responding a lot faster than Bank One. So we have successfully repaired his vehicle. Alright, so after replacing the sensor, running some tests, verify the repair, there are no trouble codes. We have successfully repaired this vehicle by replacing the air fuel ratio sensor on bank 2.